So my work is very basic. We determine the uh, genome sequence of some um, parasitic diseases that uh, affect uh, developing countries. So, so my work is going to spend some time allowing others to develop drugs and maybe vaccines and those type of things. So perhaps in the, the next five to 10 years, we might begin, begin to see it uh, come to fruition where we might have things in the clinic that will actually make an impact on the people who get these diseases. Once we develop, uh, use this knowledge to develop drugs uh, against these horrible parasitic diseases, obviously that will, will uh, have an effect on the thousands or millions of people who are currently uh, suffering from these diseases. Uh, same with vaccines. So we're hoping that within the next uh, decade or two, we will have reduced the number of, of deaths and illness due to parasitic diseases to a, to a much lower level. Uh, and obviously that has a benefit for humanity as a whole. Well, obviously this worries me greatly, uh, living in the United States, which I think is sort of one of the worst examples of this at, at the moment. Uh, as a scientist, our tendency is to just restate the facts and be rational. But what I've read is that this, in fact, is perhaps not the way to go about it. Is, and so I, I don't know that the scientists, such as myself, have a good answer of how we can, can combat this. Uh, increase in rationality and, and I guess maybe sort of using social sciences to persuade people that using rational thought and uh, is going to benefit them in the, in the uh, short and in the long term is really the way to go about it and not to try to not be combative, not to combat people's preconceived notions but just to sort of slowly chip away and show that, that science is important and it's usually right and but occasionally it's wrong, so you know, that's what I think we have to do. It's difficult as a scientist though. Well, that's a very interesting question. I never thought I was going to be a scientist until I was in high school and I discovered biology and chemistry. So I thought, oh, this would be fun to, I just like to learn stuff. And so I went to, to university and got involved and then thought, well, you can make a career out of this. So, so I did. It's been great to spend 40 years just doing things that I love. Uh, and I guess that's how I would convince people if they really are always as a child asking, why does this work or how does that work? Then think about going into science because, you know, you, people will actually pay you to do that and you, you can get paid to have fun. So I think that's what I, advice I would give people. Oh, that's a very difficult question. There are so many. So being a, a genomics person, I think uh, when we get a, a, a better understanding of how our genomes, uh, well, all of the knowledge that they contain and how all of the molecular processes that go about to make uh, living things perform, I think that's personally what I'd like to see. But, you know, I, again, I, anything in science is fascinating to me. So I, I wouldn't give one answer to that. I want to know everything about everything. And so I think you know, most scientists are like that as well.